my name is Kai Coker, and this is my farm, um, which I call Grand Trunk Veggies. Grand Trunk being a historical name to my neighborhood, and so I'm trying to bring that identity back to West Hillhurst. We eat three times a day, that's what we're told to do. It's supposed to be like a staple part of our existence, and yet our actual connection to the food that we're eating has become so removed. Backyard gardening was commonplace 50 years ago. Now, if you look around, what do we see? We see predominantly lawn and the largest irrigated crop in the world, which is grass. It's kind of madness, really. Yeah, farm co-ops in general came to, came to be as a need for farmers needing that collaborative effort because the output is so great, but the input to get that food in the first place, like the, I guess like the primary level of production is so exhaustive as well that to do both stages is just kind of YYC Growers came together as a way for many farmers to consolidate their efforts so that they could share marketplace and share restaurant sales. YYC Growers Harvest Feast is, I mean, a fundraiser primarily, that's how we posted it, but I think it's more than that. It's also trying to get both our CSA members out here and meeting some people who have heard about us but aren't maybe directly involved with us or maybe they purchase at the market and get them kind of mingling and just kind of, I guess, generate some traction for the organization through having these kind of experiences where people make it more contact, I guess, with like local food than just like necessarily buying, like buying at the grocery store, like they're actually gonna have it cooked for them and prepared and like, Primarily, one of our biggest needs is to have a larger walk-in cooler. We need like a really bigger space with a wash station on board where we can facilitate both the cleaning of our produce and the cooling of it. And we're expanding, you can feel it. Like we're riding the crest of a wave and it's expanding. And it's incredible. Simultaneously overwhelming because you're coming into the cooler and you've got stacks of bins, you know, to the ceiling. And, you can't even move in there. So it would allow us to continue to have a larger output. I, I think ideally to like allow more people to access local food, like I think. The CSA is a great way to get involved. CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture, and this is a pre-purchased share of produce for season. So we do a 16 week season, um, starting in the beginning of June or the end of May. And basically what happens, you pre-purchase in the spring, you pre-purchase 16 weeks of vegetables, and that, secures an income for the farmer at the time of the purchase so it allows them to buy seeds and do all the things they need to cultivate those vegetables and then you share in the risk that comes along with growing food which is there you know especially in this part of the world we deal with hail you know cold temperatures etc um, and the idea that you experience the bounty as it comes with the knowledge that stuff happens and that you're, you're okay to eat a diverse range of things based on the fluctuations of mother nature really. You should show up to the farmers markets because god we need that in Calgary like we need a farmers market culture and like just come out to the farmers market once a week and just buy like one thing because it's just so vital that start a garden grow your own food that's like yeah empower yourself. People people need to be reconnected with their food I think it's just it just needs to happen.